Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Logan strikes back in the daily announcements. We've got it covered on NHS TV. There will be free PSAT prep classes on October 1st and October 8th from 8 to 12 in the lecture hall, and lunch will be provided. Sign up with Ms. McCurry in the East Office if you would like to attend one of the sessions. Would you like to encourage self-respect? Then Lyft is for you. Meetings will be tomorrow before school at 8 and after school at 3.50 in room 4. Make sure to go to the varsity football game tomorrow night at 7 and root on our team as they take on the Fossil Ridge Panthers at Keller Stadium. Tickets can be purchased in the Athletic or the East Office at $6 for adults and $4 for students, and they're eight at the gate. Here are the cheerleaders with the Spirit Day promotion. Girls, I love your striped button-ups. Thanks, it's so we can prep out the Panthers. Make sure to wear your prep out attire Thursday. Make sure to dress in your preppy clothes tomorrow to prep out the Panthers. It's not Ripley's Believe It or Not, but Believe It or Not, it's Logan Davidson with the weekly update. Hello and welcome to The Weekly Update. I'm Logan Davidson and we'll start today with some nerdy news. Reportedly, the new Blu-ray release of the original Star Wars trilogy has broken all previous records for Blu-ray sales with $84 million made in the first 24 hours. That's over a million copies sold. Luckily, most of these sales were through online orders, so the geeks never even had to leave their parents' basements. In environmental news, it seems pollution is a much bigger problem than we thought because polluted water can turn you orange. At least it turns Snappy, the crocodile orange, Apparently, Snappy destroyed his water filter at the animal preserve he lives on, and, well, the unfiltered water turned him orange. I guess now we know what happened to Carrot Top. In music news, Rihanna was reportedly filming a music video on a farm in Ireland when the farmer told her to put some clothes on. She was apparently wearing only a red, white, and blue bikini, and the Irish farmer decided that that didn't match his farm's dress code. One thing I know for sure, Mr. Gaber got really mad when I wore a red, white, and blue bikini to school. Now, I'm sure many of you know that today is a very important holiday, but just in case you don't, today is International Ask a Stupid Question Day. In honor of this occasion, I decided to go around school asking stupid questions. How did the keep off the grass sign get there? Um, 27. It's Stupid Question Day, not Stupid Answer Day. Oh. Should we do this again? Okay. <laughs> What does the back of a tongue look like? Um, veiny, I guess, to put it up. <laughs> it looks <laughs> spotted. And S spotted? Put it up. It's like veiny. <laughs> How do you tell when you're out of invisible ink? Um, when you can see the ink, I guess. I'm, I don't know. Does that make sense to you? No, not at all. That was a rhetorical question. What happens if you take a survival course and don't pass? Then I would say you probably don't survive. At the very least, you get really muddy. Is that what happened to you? Yes, I got really muddy. I survived, though. If olive oil comes from olives, where does baby oil come from? Babies. <laughs> baby oil comes from babies? Yes. They squeeze the arms, I guess. <laughs> what happens if you're scared half to death twice? I guess you die, and then Casper the Friendly Ghost comes to help you. Awesome. <laughs> Why can't you keep your eyes open while you sneeze? 
I heard your brain pops out or your eyes pop out or <laughs> what was I it? I your heart stopped for a second, but... Your heart stopped, something like that. <laughs> I don't know. So your brain explodes, your eyes pop out, and your heart <laughs> stops every time you sneeze. If you d- keep your eyes open, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Brilliant. <laughs> So just a reminder, today is Ask a Stupid Question Day, so be sure and throw out a few stupid questions. In brilliant news, professional hockey player Brad Marcand, a rookie on the current Stanley Cup champions, the Boston Bruins, got a drunken tattoo to celebrate their win. But there was just one problem. Apparently the tattoo artist wasn't a hockey fan because he misspelled Stanley, and Marcand didn't bother to double check the spelling before getting inked. This just goes to show you that only good decisions are made under the influence of alcohol. And on that note, this is the end of the show. Be sure and tune in next week, and stay excellent, Northwest. Don't forget to wear your pink out shirts tomorrow to support breast cancer. And tomorrow, travel back in time with This Week in History. Have a great day, Texans.